In this video, I'm going to show you 20 things you must do after installing Linux Mint 21.2 Victoria. My name is Jasmine, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro fast. Keeping your Linux Mint system updated is crucial for security and stability, and to ensure you have the latest features. Let's get started. Open your terminal. Once the terminal is open, type this command. This command will update the package lists and then upgrade the installed packages to their latest versions. To install the latest microcode via Linux Mint, you do these steps. Go to Menu and search for Synaptic to start the Synaptic Package Manager. Click on Search, search for Microcode. It may be the situation that the microcode is already loaded, AMD 64 microcode plus Intel microcode. In that case, you do not need to do anything anymore and you close Synaptic Package Manager. Users can add additional third-party repositories to access additional software that may not be included in the official repositories. However, when adding third-party software products, you should be careful and make sure that they are reliable and secure. There are several ways to add a repository to Linux Mint. Here is one of the most common ways. Open the terminal. Enter this command to open the sources. List file in a text editor. Scroll down the file and find the Mint main repos section. This section contains the main Linux Mint repositories. Using the comment hash, temporarily disable the necessary repositories. For example, to disable the Romeo repository, add the hash character before the line that starts with deb Romeo main. Add a new repository after the disabled repositories. For example, if you want to add a repository named My Repository, add the following line. We'll be showing you how to install multimedia codecs to enhance your audio and video experience. The process is straightforward. First, let's open the terminal. To install multimedia codecs, simply enter this command. This command will fetch and install a package called Ubuntu Restricted Extras. During the installation, you might be prompted to accept terms and conditions for some proprietary software. Just use the arrow keys to navigate and hit Tab to select OK. Install additional drivers. We'll be guiding you through the process of installing additional drivers to enhance your hardware compatibility and performance. Let's get started. To install additional drivers, we'll use the Driver Manager. You can find it in the menu under Administration, or simply search for it. The Driver Manager lists available drivers for your system, especially for graphics cards and wireless adapters. Customize the desktop environment. Linux Mint offers a fantastic desktop environment, and the ability to customize it is one of the things that makes it stand out. Let's jump right in. To customize your desktop, go to the system settings. You can find it in the menu or by searching. Here, you'll find a variety of options to tweak and personalize your desktop experience. Let's start with the appearance settings. You can change your desktop theme and icons, and even customize the window borders to match your style. Play around with the different options until you find the look that suits you best. Next up, let's explore the desktop settings. Here, you can change your wallpaper, add desktop icons, and enable or disable desktop effects. Choose a wallpaper that resonates with you, and feel free to add shortcuts for quick access to your favorite applications. Install essential software. First up, let's grab a web browser. Firefox is a solid choice, but feel free to choose your preferred browser from the software manager. Let's get an Office Suite. LibreOffice is a powerful, open-source alternative to proprietary Office software. Need multimedia playback? VLC Media Player is a versatile player that handles almost any file format. For image editing, GIMP is a fantastic tool. It's like having Photoshop, but it won't cost you a penny. Let's not forget about communication. You can install apps like Thunderbird for emails and Pigeon for instant messaging. And of course, a code editor. VS Code is a popular choice for developers, and it's available in the Software Manager. Software sources are like the gateway to a treasure trove of applications and updates for your system. To configure them, let's open the Software Sources tool. You can find the Software Sources tool in the menu under Administration. Click on it, and let's get started. Inside the Software Services window, you'll see several tabs from which the Official Repositories tab was opened by default. It contains the major repositories of your system, and you can enable optional sources as well as per your requirements, but I am keeping them disabled. Now move to the PPAS tab, where you can add additional packages for specific applications. Hit the Add button to open a dialog box where you can add these extra repositories. 
I have canceled the dialog box because I don't want to add any repository. After that, move to the Maintenance tab. There, you'll see multiple options that you can check on your own. Backing up your data is like having a safety net for your digital life. To get started, Linux Mint comes with a handy tool called TimeShift. Let's check it out. To backup files, open the TimeShift application from the main menu, and once opened, select the type of snapshot which will be rsync in our case, and hit the Next button. Now select the location and hit the Finish button to customize the backup configuration settings. Here, you can work with the Delete, Restore, and Browse options to work with already created backups, or add new to be backup files. In the Setting option, you can see Deep Configuration, and customize the backup operations as per the requirements. That's it. Linux Mint is known for its stability, but a little maintenance goes a long way. Today we'll use a tool called Bleachbit to clean up unnecessary files and free up valuable disk space. To install Bleachbit, head over to the Software Manager. You can find it in the menu or by searching. Type Bleachbit into the search bar and there it is. Click on it and hit Install. Once the installation is complete, you can launch Bleachbit from the menu. Bleachbit provides a simple interface to clean up your system. You can choose what to delete from the browser cache to system logs. Be cautious and review the options before clicking clean. You don't want to remove something important accidentally. Enable firewall. While Linux is known for its robust security, it's always a good idea to have an active firewall. In Linux Mint, we'll be using the uncomplicated firewall or UFW. To enable the firewall, open the terminal. Type the command. This will install UFW on your system. Enter your password when prompted. Once installed, you can enable the firewall by typing. Confirm the action by pressing Y and hitting Enter. UFW is now active. Install a package manager GUI. While the terminal is powerful, a graphical user interface can be more intuitive for some users. Let's install Synaptic. To install Synaptic, open the terminal, type the command. This command updates your package lists and installs Synaptic. Enter your password when prompted. Once the installation is complete, you can find Synaptic in the menu under Administration. Click on Synaptic to launch the Package Manager GUI. Synaptic gives you a visual representation of available packages, making it easy to search, install, or remove software. Let's search for a package. In this case, we'll look for GIMP, the image editing software. Select the package, click Mark for installation, and then hit Apply to install it. Simple, right? Install and configure a PDF reader. Linux Mint comes with a built-in PDF viewer, but we can install a more feature-rich alternative. Let's go with Events for its simplicity and functionality. To install Events, open the terminal, type the command. This command updates your package lists and install Events. Enter your password when prompted. Once installed, you can find Events in the menu under Office. Click on Events to launch the PDF reader. Events is a straightforward and user-friendly PDF reader. You can open, view, and navigate through your PDF documents. A large number of fonts are already available and ready to use, but some fonts can be considered as a global standard, like Arial and Times New Roman. Search for the Software Manager by typing Software in the search bar of your application's Start menu. Start Software Manager. Search for MES Score Fonts. Select this entry and click on Install. While Linux Mint comes with the powerful time shift for system snapshots, for personal file backups, we'll use a tool called DejaDupe. To install DejaDupe, open the terminal, type the command. This command updates your package lists and installs DejaDupe. Enter your password when prompted. Once installed, you can find DejaDupe in the menu under Accessories. Click on DejaDupe to launch the backup tool. DejaDupe makes the backup process straightforward. Once the DejaDupe interface appears, hit the Create My First Backup option to start the backup operation. It opens a new window where you can add or ignore the folders for backups. I have added the Home folder for backup and set the Downloads folder as the Ignore Backup folder. After that, hit the Forward button and provide the location where this backup needs to be placed once all is done, like I have set the Mint folder available over Google Drive for backup files. Now follow the wizard and hit the Install button, which will ask for your password. After that, the backing up procedure will be started automatically. Monitoring your system's resources is essential for maintaining optimal performance. Today we'll install GNOME System Monitor for its user-friendly interface. To install GNOME System Monitor, open the terminal, type the command. This command updates your package lists and installs GNOME System Monitor. Enter your password when prompted. Once installed, you can find GNOME System Monitor in the menu under System Tools. 
click on GNOME System Monitor to launch the tool. Here you can get a real-time overview of your system's performance, including CPU usage, memory usage, and more. While Linux Mint comes with a default terminal, you can always try different terminal emulators for added features and customization. Today we'll install Terminator. To install Terminator, type the command, this command updates your package lists and installs Terminator. Enter your password when prompted. Once installed, you can find Terminator in the menu under Accessories. Click on Terminator to launch this powerful terminal emulator. Terminator allows you to split your terminal into multiple panes, making it handy for multitasking on the command line. You can split the terminal vertically or horizontally by right-clicking and selecting the desired option. Set up additional users. Linux Mint makes it easy to set up multiple user accounts, each with its personalized environment and settings. To add a new user, go to the system settings. You can find it in the menu under administration. Now, navigate to the users section. Here, you'll see the list of existing users. To add a new one, click on the plus button. Fill in the necessary information for the new user. Username, full name, password, and any other details you want to include. Once you've filled in the details, click add to create the new user. You can also choose whether the new user should have administrative privileges by selecting the administrator checkbox. Adjust any additional settings, such as the user's home directory and group, to suit your preferences. Click OK to confirm that you've successfully added a new user. Explore and install applets. Applets in Linux Mint are small programs that provide additional functionality to your desktop environment, Cinnamon. To explore and install them, we'll use the applet settings. Open the Cinnamon settings by clicking on the menu and navigating to Preferences. In the Cinnamon settings, look for the Applets section. Here you'll find a list of available applets. You can click on an applet to get more information about it. To install an applet, simply click the Download button next to it. Let's install a weather applet to check the weather right from our desktop. Install development tools. For some coding magic by installing essential development tools. Whether you're into programming or just starting, these tools will pave the way for your coding adventures. Let's dive right in. Linux Mint makes it easy to set up your development environment with a few simple commands. To begin, let's start by updating the package lists. Let's install some essential development tools. We'll go for a common set, including GCC, the GNU compiler collection, Make, and Git. This command installs the necessary tools for compiling and building software as well as the version control system Git. Once the installation is complete, you can check the installed versions using. This confirms that GCC, Make and Git are installed on your system. Thank you for joining us today on this Linux adventure. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Linux content, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Stay connected with us on Skills Build for the latest updates, and until next time, happy computing, and may your Linux journey be full of discoveries. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.